In our world, we are being presented with many problems. Albert Einstein gave great advice in this matter when he said problems cannot be solved by the level of knowledge or awareness that created them. In other words, we have to get outside our own boxes. Well, a mystic sees beyond a box to what has been hidden or what has been forgotten, what is not seen. My name is Sharon Raji Maynard. It was curiosity that took me on a radical search for answers. And those answers came to me from ancient ones, those in spiritual worlds unseen to the eye. And this knowledge foundations my podcast, A Mystic's View. Come as you are to see situations through my eyes as we sit together. Diversity, uniqueness, is a natural condition, a natural outcome within humanity and Hearing diverse ideas and thoughts expands our own capacities. So I encourage you to listen to a mystic's view to hear, to be enhanced, and to consider other possibilities. I welcome you to this journey. have to get outside our own boxes. Well, a mystic sees beyond a box to what has been hidden or what has been forgotten, what is not seen. My name is Sharon Raji Maynard. It was curiosity that took me on a radical search for answers. And those answers came to me from ancient ones, those in spiritual worlds unseen to the eye. And this knowledge foundations my podcast, A Mystic's View. Come as you are to see situations through my eyes as we sit together. Diversity, uniqueness, is a natural condition, a natural outcome within humanity. And and hearing diverse ideas and thoughts expands our own capacities. So I encourage you to listen to a mystic's view to hear, to be enhanced, and to consider other possibilities. I welcome you to this journey. Today's broadcast is in answer to questions that are floating out there in our social media world about the coronavirus. Are there dark forces behind it? Was it artificially created to do damage? So here's a take from a mystic's view. Hi, good morning. Coming from my isolated office (laughs) where the sun is shining and plants are growing. I've had some questions come across my desk in relationship to the virus. Is there dark forces involved? Uh, What's behind it? Things things like that. Or on the conspiracy end of things. Valid questions for some. For others, it's like, raise your eyebrow and like, what are you talking about? So I'm going to answer those who, for them, it's an important question. In my 30 years of working in spiritual energy, and again, if you haven't seen my spiral form of energy, that will be in a video later today again. There are all kinds of patterns that have been placed consciously or unconsciously in that huge field, we call the biofield, the living field. It's like us swimming in this water, and we don't even know that it's contaminated, and some of us are more susceptible to the contamination than others. So what about dark forces? Do they exist? And do they exist within the concept situation of this virus? Well, from my work over these last many years, in my work over these last many years, I'd have to say, yeah, there are some dark energy forces out there whose agenda is not to bring benefit to everybody, but to bring benefit to themselves, even at the expense of others. So I call them parasites because they're parasitic by nature. And they do exist, and that is their uh, agenda, We don't all run into them, 
consciously, but they're around us. A lot of the things we see as systems in our culture have that parasitic energy. Why are all the rainforests being cut down when that's not a benefit to anybody but a few? That's just one example. So what about this virus? In my uh, uh, experience, it's better to err on the side of healing too much rather than hiding your head in the sand and not healing at all. And by healing, I mean transforming, changing, redesigning, reframing. All words for healing. I've worked with a a lot of women over the past many years who've come because they have felt stuck, they have felt um, discounted, even from within themselves, they felt not enough, they can't move forward, etc. You get the picture. In helping them to reframe, to transform, to heal, in other words, it's not uncommon that we've had to go back in time because this is a genetic situation. Because we go back in time because this is a genetic situation. It This discounting of women and targeting of women, trauma amongst women, didn't begin 100 years ago. It began a long time ago. So in order to really reframe, we have to go deep, deep, deep where the iceberg is rooted. So just imagine yourself back in a village lifetimes ago. And in that village... There is joy and balance, creativity. Women meet monthly at least. They vision, they share ideas. Things emerge within their circles that bring a betterment to the entire community. And the, the men in the village feel the village with their heart energy. Go for it. What can I do? Do we need a fence built? And the women design according to visions that they have. And men honor those visions. And they bring all their strength to it. And feed the entire vision. And and feed the entire village with that heart energy. And it's just, we'd call it peace. Lots of. In that village, The souls in male bodies and the souls in female bodies respect one another. They have different roles to play. And the role of the woman is that the visioning comes into healing. It comes into creating systems that will make a good, that will create benefit and good for everyone in the village, including all the nature that's around them, that relationship quality that women have in, in naturally because it's part of their ability to design for the good of all. So here's that village. And then there is coming across the prairie or over the hills a different form of being in a bodysuit, usually led by those in a male bodysuit. So we think of it as a male thing, but it's not a male thing. It's an agenda thing. And it's an agenda to control at any cost, to use others, to dominate them at any cost. So they're coming toward these villages, and this is like 50,000 years ago in the trips I've taken. They come to these villages, and it's not uncommon that their villages have talked to each other, visited one another, but always there is this unspoken boundary around a village that's respected. And those coming to the village wait until they are invited in, and the women vet them. How do they feel? What what is it they want to, to bring in? Do we know them? Do we not? Etc. So there are boundaries 
and there's respect for the boundaries and the villagers invite others in according to what the women sense. Well, here come these invader men who aren't. And it is parasitic agenda representatives. They don't care about boundaries. They have nothing to do with that boundaries because their agenda is to use others. And women hold the boundaries. Just imagine that there's Stop just a minute, wait. And those beings of domination say, forget that. And they just push their way in. They harm women. They kill them if they need to. They rape them if they want to in order to take over this village. In that time, what, what I have discovered in order to free or heal my client, we have to travel back to her village eons ago, generations ago. It's a generational wounded. And we have to come from the future, if you will, to restore the voice of authority to women, to have it, to have that voice of a, of a woman, a soul in a female body, a soul in a female body is who I'm speaking of, to have that voice restored to authority that is honored and must be honored in every, every frequency or dimension or regions or lifetimes. So we go back and here's the village and it's, Fun to be there. <laughs> Let's stay there for a while. That's what we want for today. Hmm? Bring it forward. So here are, the, here are the women. They're alerted to this sense of something coming toward their village, and they know someone's coming. It's different. And we come in uh, from the future, and we say to them, we are here to restore to you and anchor and activate for you the voice of the authority gather your women and they do and we bring our women from this day who know that authority who experienced it in 2020 and we surround their village with them we restore their authority and we say now when we watch what we do you follow us and we stand together with our backs to the village with our face we get a sense is this an energy yes or no and we clearly say no no mm -mm. something's wrong here we don't know what it is we don't have to know it's not in alignment to what we want for this beautiful peaceful creative village so we Close our eyes. We anchor down the midline of our body right into Mother Earth. We can reach into the heavens. We go within and reach into the heavens. And we call for the teams who in those worlds exist and have existed for a very long time, who have the ability to contain this energy field, to contain it. They have the ability to read the energy frequencies. They can hear the songs and they can discern what within this space are the harmonics of parasitics, are the vibrations of control. And they can follow those, gather those up. They can neutralize them and move them back to their own home where they can do their job if they want that agenda. They can do that, just not in our world, not in our village, not in our day. So we hold the space and we say to that team, PTO is what I call them. This energy is not acceptable. It is not acceptable. We turn it over to you. And we hold space with that group of women and we hold 
the declaration of authority to those worlds beyond, giving them permission to act. And when that circle in that past time, the women can sense, ah, it's gone. It's gone. And they return to their village. Their village has never been impacted. It opens up an entirely new stream of energy possibility that was never, never traumatized, was never raped, was never tortured. And it brings that forward to be used to create the same energy in each village, in each family from that point forward. So what do you do about the coronavirus? Is it man-made? Is there dark forces behind it? Et cetera, et cetera. Who cares? Assume that, because you're asking the question, there's something wrong there, something off. You do not know what it is, but you, especially if you're a soul in a female body, but even the brothers in, in male bodies, you have the, the right, the authority, and the assignment to go within, what better metaphor for isolation, going within, connecting to those spiritual teams, even if you don't know they're there yet, I tell you they are. They are. BTO, I turn over this coronavirus to you. It, it is not acceptable in our world. Whatever is of dark, parasitic, neutralize and remove it back to its home. Whatever is that, whatever, whatever will bring benefit, expand the good within it. That's how you handle it. That's how you handle any situation. Because I guarantee you, any situation you run into, there's going to be a percentage of parasitic influence. Percentage parasitic influence. Some call dark forces. So surround the situation. You're all upset yourself. You can't get, you can't get a handle on your fear. PTO, something in my space is not acceptable. I turn my space, my feeling of fear, over to you. I identify what is outsider, dark, parasitic. You move it back to its home. We just need to share our tools. We need to expand our toolbox. And that's what we need for this time. To stay aware. And when we're aware, we'll see more of what we don't know. We didn't know, we didn't know, but now we know we don't know. Ask the question, find the answers, expand your toolbox. We're designing a new world, and we're de we are designing a new you. Thanks for coming along on this episode. Now, these various sharings may stretch your mind, challenge your dogma, awaken new possibilities, and or even resonate with your own experiences. I'd love to hear any of that, and you can find me on Facebook under A Mystic's View, and the same, YouTube, A Mystic's View. When you see the value of this podcast, uh, please share it with your friends. A Mystic's View is also on Patreon, where those who want to support and be a part of this growing community can participate. That would be at www.patreon.com forward slash A Mystic's View. The pressures of this world is rising. And what does that mean? How can you respond? My intention is, is that through this podcast, you will gain more insight, encouragement to discover yourself. Until next time, blessings. Blessings.